Hello everyone, welcome back to Captain Aviation. Hope you're doing well today. Welcome back, welcome to the people that are new to the channel. Today we're going to be speaking about uh, PPL again uh, from, from the previous video, which was the aircraft general knowledge. Today we're going to speak, be speaking about the flight performance and planning uh, video that will be. Um, I'll be speaking about the key aspects of it, uh, what I missed, um, which was two marks, I think, two, yeah, two marks. Um, it's going to be 60, it's going to be, sorry. It's going to be a pass rate of 75% uh, as as all of them. They're all 75% pass rate. And you're, it's going to be, um, this one is 12 questions, okay? And you have to get nine in order to pass the exam. Nine questions out of 12, I got 10. So that's 83%. I'm going to tell you on the syllabus, which will be also down below, and the resources down below as well. In Kirkham, so the Pooley's book and the Easy PPL. Uh, website which will be down below so i'm going to be going through the syllabus uh probably putting it up here i'm not really sure uh, i'm going to see what i did with the other videos and i'm going to um, go through with you um the syllabus mistakes that i did so for the this exam the flight performance of planning has got a lot of calculation compared to lots of chart and your training on organization will give you um, resources to help you, um, not to help you, that is needed um, for the for the exam. So they'll give you a booklet, I think one or two booklets, compared to the performance chart, client cruise performance, all of these stuff that you will do have and you will prepare for um, on the whatever resource you're doing, your exams will be based on that. Um, so charts and um, general flight for moments and planning calculations as well and some other short uh, shorter questions so do prepare for that um they're not as they are they do require concentration especially uh, to mess up things it's quite easy especially as it is easy with navigation i'll be talking about in the next video as well it's easy to mess up if you do one mistake then maybe it'll be harder for you to um it might not be in the options for example the abcd uh, so you have to go back again and then just do it again, which will require more time, especially you do have 45 minutes, which is a bit of amount of time. I used, surprisingly, I was not sure I'm going to do, I was going to use that 45 minutes. And it's the only exam that I did take the whole 45 minutes or the whole duration of the time, which surprised me. But it was so many calculations, calculations after calculation, and they do require time. So do spend um, your time actually revising and studying those calculation questions um, because they can mess you up if you have small errors. So I'm going to be speaking now about the syllabus. Uh, let me show you now. I do have the syllabus and what I did mess up. So I got as a repeated 10 out of 12 questions, okay, which you got two, two wrong, which are these ones. So definition of terms and speed which is 0 through 2 decimal 0 1 decimal 0 2 decimal 0 1 and the performance classes okay so 033 0, 3, 3, decimal 0 1 decimal 0 1 decimal 0 1 you can go after your exam after you've done it and check your syllabus uh, this syllabus that I have in the description down below what errors you have so you can refine your knowledge and improve your knowledge as well any gaps you had before but maybe it wasn't necessary or which it is necessary but maybe you thought it was not uh, you said okay but maybe hopefully i'm not tested on it and even one mark can be um i can miss out on that one mark do aim for all the marks because if you do have surprisingly harder questions that you were um, looking out for and you hope for um, you can get that 8 out of 12 and failed test so do uh, be very careful and just study everything guys this is passion for aviation that you should have especially if you're going commercial if you're doing it as a hobby then uh, might, maybe might have, you might have less of a passion um, but obviously the passion is still there so uh, the, the resources that you'll be using um, I mean, you will, you could be using, uh, you can use your Easy PPL, link is down below in the description. So how Easy PPL works is it works the same other ones, but maybe you'll, if you've just seen this video um, for the first time and not my other previous videos, um, they do 
what I used was test and exam access. Okay, so for £10.99, they give you progress tests and the reader test exam, which has 12, 20 questions. Not the real test, but it's similar to the real test. Um, it just have tw it has 20 questions instead of 12, um, which gives you more access to a broader range of questions um, for you to prepare for in one exam. I What I used to do for my exams was go through the progress tests, all of them, and the questions for the progress tests will always be the same. The order will change, but the progress test questions will always be the same. So progress test one will always have the same questions, um, not in the exam. In the exam, after 10 questions, it usually repeats itself. Some questions you see, you see that start repeating themselves, and also fit questions 15 onwards, 20 onwards, they get even more repetitive. And they get closer to what they actually are in the real similar exams. That's why I really, really liked Easy PPL. Really, really like it um, when it came to my theoretical knowledge. I'm really amazing, really loved it. Um, it was a good reference for me to use for the um, for my exams. And I'm, it was very similar to the questions. So thank you, Easy PPO, if you're watching this. I doubt it, but thank you. So guys, if you when when you do do your test, um, use 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 Easy P, use Easy PPL. Um, I recommend it highly, especially if you have trouble um, studying and studying some topics that I do understand. They are harder than some others. Um, and they do require more time and thought, especially flight performance and planning, and this one, which is navigation, which will be the next one. So, guys, that was it for now, for the, um, uh, we've done the syllabus, and now I can, so the textbook, uh, which will be Pauli's, um, is, let's just go through that. The textbook is the, um, Sorry, I'm get a bit muddled up now. It's the yellow textbook, which is it's number five. It's not number five. It's number six. I don't know what number it is. Uh, it's the yellow textbook. It has three exams. So the aircraft general knowledge, and it's a bit big. You you do see it. Aircraft general knowledge, flight flight performance and planning, and which is the last one. So aircraft general knowledge, uh, principles of flight and uh, flight performance and planning. You can do so. That's the book that you will use in this. You could use and it's easy and it's. Uh, ground school um, Paulie's book. I do recommend that as well. So just read through the book first. That's what I recommend. And then go through the progress tests and the exams questions. Guys, thank you. Hopefully I didn't miss anything out. Important, why is important? And that was um, not a key aspect. I didn't go through the key aspects. Uh, we just have maybe I think eight minutes. Um, so that was the clear, I uh, hopefully it was clear uh, regarding to the flight performance and planning. Guys, do uh, comment down below what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video. I am kind of getting used to speaking to um, about the PPL journey as we get on to the um, next levels and next stages of the license. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, you're really a huge support and I do enjoy your comments. Uh, really, really interesting. Uh, some of you, where you come from um, regarding to the um you care some of the videos i do they 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 are linked to your codes and the ICAO, ICAO codes so international civil aviation organization i did a video of that on instagram and i saw all of you comment where you were where your local um big airport was thank you guys really interesting to see your support and i'll see you in the next video uh, which is navigation take care guys thank you Bye bye